there's absolutely no way around this because so focus and intensity and that kind of the, the Goggins phenotype, right? I think Goggins is now a noun, a verb and a pronoun, right? It's like, it's amazing. <laughs> so if you're going to Goggins this process, what you need to do is you need to, regardless of how agitated you feel, you have to lean in and focus extremely hard. Now, the reason for that is that there's a neurochemical norepinephrine, also called adrenaline, same thing, that's released in the brain and body. Most people back off at that point because they feel this agitation. Welcome to the Mindset by Design podcast with your host and NLP expert, Andy Murphy, where you will learn the tips, tricks, and strategies he teaches his world-class clients to give you the skills to dominate any business. What's going on, Mindset by Design crew, and welcome to episode 380. Hope you're amazing as always. And you know what? I really like saying that. 380. That means we're 20 episodes. That's it. 20 episodes of um, hitting that big 400. There probably should be another 400 on top of this. You know, I've had this um, podcast for quite a few years. And it was just interesting because I was, I was listening to an episode of Rogan the other day. And they mentioned something which was really, really cool. They were talking about when they first started their podcast. And that's probably like 10 years ago. I've been going for like over seven. But they were talking about only there was only a few hundred podcasts in the entire world back then. Have a guess how many there is now. It's three and a half million, (laughs) right? Three and a half million. And it's funny when I go go back um, to to mine, it's such a journey. It's such a ride. The whole coaching industry has changed. The whole internet marketing industry has changed. And the whole world has down all changed, man. And it's really beautiful to look back. I listened to some of the early ones um, every now and again. You know what I mean? Every now and again to check in. And I'm so different. Never mind the guest, you know what I mean? It's like everyone's a little bit naive, <laughs> if that's even a word, about about the world and what's going on. And I do this for the same reason. Same reason I started it, because I love it. To give people a community, to give people a place to go, to to never feel as entrepreneurs or salespeople that, that they're on their own, right? To give them a home. Nothing's changed. That That's... That's the key foundation, right? Because as entrepreneurs or whatever you're going through, you're a trader, you're doing high-level IPOs or mergers, you're you're just getting a brand off the go, you're just starting your coaching or internet marketing journey, or maybe you're a real estate agent, insurance salesman, or just a kick-ass closer, right? We all go on these journeys. And the whole point was to, yeah, to give you a place that you can constantly pump your brain up. That's it, right? So nothing's changed around that. And it was it was wild to think there's now three and a half million episodes. Episodes. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to three and a half million episodes. But three and a half million podcasts in the world. I'm 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 really intrigued. I haven't looked at these stats. Maybe you can tell me. But it was like, how many of those are over a hundred episodes? Because I know a lot of podcasts that like around 50, 60 episodes and then people fade off, you know. They do uh, one a week or one every couple of weeks and then they fade off. But I'm very proud of hitting to 400. We're doing, we've just done a, a 2 million downloads. Um, and I, I know the next million downloads will come very, very fast. I'd probably get it done in this year. Um, yeah, in the next 12 months, by the way. We're on August the 22nd today, just so you know, just so you know, 2022. And um, I'm about to travel again. Of course, every few months I um, change countries, live in between a few. This is what we do when we got freedom. And the cool thing is, I I chose this episode today and it's Andrew Herberman. Yes, you have had clips of Andrew Herberman on the show many times. Again, Stanford professor of neurobiology and neuroscience kind of a good person to be researching but this episode is it's a little clip it's cool and it's all about performance so it's all about activating some parts of the brain so we can constantly be in this high level learning state and learning is it's the key to everything right and then we've got to we learn it we've got to master that skill but the step one is learning it and 
there's ways to activate our brain and environment to be able to really step into that zone of genius, to be able to change the brain waves, to be able to get into a place that you can just absorb this information. The words flow out your head and in your head very quickly, the images, right? And there's kind of a hack to it, and there's many different hacks, but the one we're going to talk about today, it's really, it's the basic principles. Now, we can put different ways to activate these basic principles, but there's some awesome basic principles. And hey, who better to listen to than the, the GOAT himself, Dr. Andrew Herberman. So yeah, that's what the episode's about. And speaking of awesome stuff, I'm really hoping that you decided to do something different today. What's the different thing, Andy? <laughs> yeah, click on what a link what's the link yes unfairadvantage.online unfairadvantage.online click on the unfairadvantage.online and um, besides even looking at what the unfair advantage academy is all about and if you're in sales or you're an entrepreneur and you want to double your income in 12 months then this is for you it like we're going to teach you superpowers man <laughs> superpowers that no one else in the um yeah, and the game is, is really teaching. We're creating a home for you. A, a, a You just, just go and look. It's, it's absolutely badass. And I'm very, very proud of it, you know? And really, the idea here is to give you the edge. To give you the cutting edge. And it's taken me 20 years, millions of dollars, working with the best in the world, and also going through bankruptcy and nervous breakdown when I was 27, putting together a $100 million resort, and working with the best in the world, from Fortune 500 CEOs, to world champions, to special force commandos, to, to digital superstars that you recognize. And I just want to give you really all of these insights and these private interviews and the community and the NLP on a high level, but you've got to already be a badass at what you do. And if that's you and you are a rock star already and you want the edge, you want that next level, I'm going to show you things that you do not know. And I'm going to give you tools that are going to change your game. I promise you, I promise you. But you can go right now, you get two free awesome gifts. Got a badass video training teaching you how to use your brain for eight figure thinking. And we've got another one, how to use your brain like a Jedi. Sound good? Awesome, you get those free right now. Just for showing some interest, I wanna help you out immediately. That's it, head over there, sign your name up, and I'll give you something badass. And again, the sales page and everything else, and all the information come out in the next week. So you are an early VIP bird. <laughs> Enjoy it. But unfairadvantage.online is waiting for you. Awesome. Awesome. Should we jump into the show? Awesome stuff. Hit the show notes. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the inside. And see you also at the end of the show. If you're a child, you know, the things you hear and see and do are shaping you, right? Mm -hmm. Kids come home saying things they've never even heard before. It's amazing. There's, right. And as an adult, you have to crack into that neural circuitry and reshape it. And yeah, but why is that? What, what is it about adults? Because I have my own theory, and this is a, just a, a martial arts-based theory. Young kids learn so fast. They learn so fast. But I always feel like it's because they don't have jobs. They don't have a family to take care of. They don't have a girlfriend who's on their back. They don't have bills and the IRS breathing down their neck. They don't have anything. So they can just think about it and their mind, like if, if they have a hard drive, right? And they have a one terabyte hard drive. They got like a hundred gigs full. They have all this space. You could fill that space up with technique and movement and, and it becomes their whole life because it's thrilling and it's exciting to learn and their body heals quicker so they can, they can force themselves into situations. With adults, it's extremely difficult to find the bandwidth 
to find the amount of time to really completely focus on something because you have so many distractions. Yeah. Well, Does the, that make sense? That No, absolutely. What you just described is a, is a beautiful description of the top contour and below that what's happening is in, in childhood, the whole brain is literally more plastic because there's more space for the neurons to move around and make mm. new connections. The whole environment the chemicals that are swirling around in there are set for plasticity because we were basically designed to come into the world and be customized to our experience. I mean, if the human animal is exceptionally good at any one thing, it's that. So if you're an adult, say if you're a 35 year old man with a family or a 35 year old woman with a family and a job and you want to learn a new skill, what is the best way to force your brain to accept these new patterns and learn this quickly? By attacking two separate parts of a process. Neuroplasticity is not an event, it's a process and it has two parts. The first one is if you wanna learn and change your brain as an adult, there has to be a high level of focus and engagement. There's absolutely no way around this because so focus and intensity and that kind of the, the Goggins phenotype, right? I think Goggins is now a noun, a verb and a pronoun, right? It's like, it's amazing. <laughs> so if you're gonna Goggins this process, what you need to do is you need to, regardless of how agitated you feel, you have to lean in and focus extremely hard. Now, the reason for that is that there's a neurochemical norepinephrine, also called adrenaline, same thing, that's released in the brain and body. Most people back off at that point because they feel this agitation. But we have to remember that that noradrenaline was designed to get us into movement. That's the purpose of noradrenaline, to take us out of stillness and into movement. And then the other thing we have to do is we have to take that elevated level of alertness and we have to focus it. And there's a second neuromodulator called acetylcholine, which is secreted from this little structure in the base of the forebrain when we visually focus on something. Or in the case of maybe if you're doing auditory learning when you focus with your auditory attention. Okay, crew, let me jump in there. Let me jump in there. I love what, again, what he just said. He's a beast, right? He's a beast. But think about that as a kid. Right. One of the things that they talk about with the brain and the filter system is the kids can actually process through their filter system, their RAS, um, like over double. So like two and a half million bits of information. Right. Every second, the flooding through, it's less than half of that when you're when you're an adult. So first of all, is the filter or the perception of reality is because it's so new they 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 have access to to see the world much actually bigger or more expansive than than adults right so think about that for a start but then it was it was brilliant because what he said was well there's actually more space on the top of the brain and um, for what well for the actual neurotransmitters to to connect there's more space never thought about it like that right if each time we have an experience, good or bad, a path is formed, then by the time we're adults, and if we've done a lot of crazy shit in our life, then what happens is, well, yeah, it's actually full. So we have to have, well, d called pruning, right? Where the separation of, of, the, of the synapse connections or, or the, the neurology falls away. That's what we want, so we'll leave more space. So when I look at that in a performance enhancing way or an entrepreneurial way, Think about it this way, right? If we wanted to create our routines and our lives or our systems or, or the way we experience our business a very simplified way, then what happens is, and we're not reacting to the past or the future or emotions, then what has to happen is that becomes a very simple pattern that then there is more electricity or energy actually going to repeat those patterns rather than it being splayed off into a million different things. So then what happens in the brain is we can actually process things much, much easier. That becomes a superpower in itself. But that's going a little bit off tangent, but going back to um, Andrew, what he said, which was really, I love the way he said it. I love the way he said it. Human beings are here to do what? Yeah, well, it's to customize to our experiences. I'll say that again. I'm going to say that again, and I want you to really think about that, man. We customize you for your experiences. So that's life. 
your brain customizes for your experience, for adaptation, for change. It's the same with genetics, it's the same with everything, your environment, your circumstances, right? The brain actually adapts to be able to perform uh, under a, uh, it could be a high pressure environment or, or, or a very extremely different environment. But think about that when you're, you're launching a new product or moving into a new service or you're launching a new brand or you're learning new skills. It, it requires so much time, effort, and energy at the start, right? When we hit that low part, of the, like the, um, the learning curve. But it's as we get deeper in there, when we start to, on our way to become something called an unconscious competent, right? The, the neurology is deepened, our patterns are deepened, and we start to hit the top of that bell curve. It's where we, things get a little bit easier, right? We're on more autopilot. We don't have to think about this these things as much. So if you're doing something brand new or you're wanting to learn a new skill, then guess what? That learning curve at the very start is going to be more intense. Why? Because we want it to be intense because your brain is going to adapt and it's going to get rid of the neurology or the patterns that don't serve it anymore over time. So we can be more simple, it can be more structured, and then we can have more of a um, an ideal brain. Hope Does that make sense? I, I hope so, right? So then what was he talking about? He was talking about something cool. He was talking about how to activate something called neuroplasticity. And he's going to go into it in more detail next. But that neuroplasticity is the neuroscience study to understand that the brain is constantly adaptable. It actually comes originally from, from brain injuries. And then they found that the, uh, the brain rerouted itself or rerouted itself well, it depends where you are in the world, you know, but whatever it is, it makes a new pattern to create the create or keep the brain function. So what we do in, in performance or what I do inside the academy for you is I do this for you being an absolute peak performance for you to be able to add all the, the behavioral psychology or the NLP or, or, or whatever it is to your toolbox, right? We've got to make sure that you're in a high state of expansion or learning. Because if we are, what happens? Yes, we have to have a high level of focus and engagement. Because if you're bored, if you're bored, you ain't going to learn that skill. You're not going to double your income, which we're going to do inside the academy. You're not going to do those things because you're bored. So first of all, we've got to understand that. And if we can understand that, then guess what? Well, We've got to lean in. And if we can lean in to a very clear objective, to a very clear mission, that mission could be for the client, that client in front of you, the day, the week, the year, the month, the income, whatever it is your mission is. If we can get your brain chemically so excited and obsessed visually about that, then everything changes because suddenly your brain is allowed to change, right? Which means that we've got to make sure that we are, that focus is, is so heightened because it activates acetylcholine, which is uh, Dr. Herbum is going to go into in a few moments, right? Now, I'm not a neuroscientist. I'm, I'm not. This is just what we do from experience because I see how things are created. I see how performance is generated. I know how to revamp careers or take things to a whole new level when there's, there's um, stress or complacency or you need consistency, right? And that's a lot of pressure every day to be able to uh, perform at the highest level you can every single day. So we've got to use strategies around this. But let's jump back in to Mr. Herberman or Dr. Herberman. <laughs> can I pause you there for a second? Yeah. So acetylcholine, you could take in a supplement and norepinephrine, you can actually get from uh, float uh, ice tanks. Like you can get it from uh, cryo chambers. You can get it from cryotherapy. So w using those strategies of taking like acetylcholine is actually an alpha brain, mm -hmm. one of the supplements my company sells. When you take that along with float tanks and doing, or excuse me, um, uh, cryo chambers and do some intense exercise or whatever you're trying to get good at with intense focus, 
Can those things accelerate that process? Almost certainly increases the plasticity, the rate of plasticity. So you would recommend if someone was trying to get better at something, like a cryo chamber would actually accelerate the process of learning? Yeah. So, uh, yes. So, wow. so the reason for that, though, but you don't necessarily need a, a cryo chamber. What you need are, so we have these requirements. We need urgency and focus to mm -hmm. trigger plasticity. Right. That's one part of the process. I haven't mentioned the second part yet. Neuroplasticity is triggered when urgency and focus combine. Acetylcholine is released for the aficionados out there. It's called the nucleus basalis, but that doesn't matter. There's a little compartment of neurons in the base of your forebrain that doesn't like to release acetylcholine on a regular basis. It's, a, it's greedy. It's greedy, and it doesn't want to use that. If you're a child, it'll rain your brain with acetylcholine. But as an adult, 30, 40, eight, up to Why eight. is that? Because – the, you know, Mother Nature designed us to learn what we need to learn and then do that, reproduce and die. I mean, not to be, you know, How rude. dark about it, but I would say evolution is not about us. It's about the offspring. Yes. Right? Like hundred percent, you know, it's. And then it's not even about them. It's about their offspring. Exactly. It never ends. We are being manipulated from the inside. Yes. I mean, that's what it, you know, kind of drew me in neurobiology is that all these complex things you see in the world, it's all internal. So. You know, if you get urgency, it can come from, let's use David as a, he's a shining example of this, right? You can sit there and just ramp up your level of urgency through purely psychological means. You could take an ice bath. You could do high intensity breathing, anything that brings your level of alertness up. Can I ask you this? If you were going to try to improve your ability to get better at something, when would you use that ice bath or the cryotherapy? Would you use it before? Would you use it afterwards? Definitely before. Before. Before the, the, the learning. What we're talking about is a, a two-part process. The first part is the learning trigger. The learning trigger is gated by two things, adrenaline, which is also norepinephrine, same thing, and acetylcholine. And so you need that level of alertness up and you need acetylcholine released at the location in the brain that corresponds to what you're trying to learn. So things like supplements and certain nutrition regimens can assist the process for sure. There's no question about that. Things like alpha caffeine. GPC, caffeine will bring up the adrenaline and kind of anything to raise that alertness. So crew, let me jump in there. Let me jump in there. Do you see when you look at a, a launching a new product or launching a new business or, or constantly having to perform each day? I'll go back to my point, previous point, right? If you happen to perform each day and you're learning a brand new skill, um, then that's great, right? We, we can get amped up. We get pumped up. We get we get intensified, which releases what? The adrenaline releases, releases, <laughs> releases the acetylcholine, which then, because we're focusing on a very specific skill or, or task, then the, the, it, everything's directed to create those neurons, those neural nets, right? Which makes sense. But what happens also in the future? What happens when we all the chemicals are being pumped there and we're getting lots of dopamine, which feels good. So we constantly are in this new, hyped, excited vibe, right? And we probably all had experiences of that on maybe talking about a business idea with someone and everyone's excited at the time and then they drop off and maybe you're still going, right? And th th this is what's going on. So when we can understand that to keep that neurology pumping the way we want it, we have to keep this level of growth, this level of excitement, this level of intensity, right? So whether we use an external things, like he spoke about cryo, and I'm literally going for a cryo in 25 minutes, which is interesting. Um, or you, what he, else, what he said, stumbled over my words apparently, he talked about everything becoming in, being internal. Did you hear that? So these external things um, are really supplementation to what we can produce if we understand how to trigger these things or develop these patterns internally. And so what that shows you again, right? Motivation, a, a, a genius, a, being able to perform at the highest level, right? Having direct direction with your focus, everything. It all happens from inside out. It doesn't happen outside in. 
Outside is the environment that the, then the internal world or your brain adapts to. Remember what I said at the start? It adapts to this new environment, right? We put ourselves in a stressful environment. We put ourselves learning a new skill. We can hack all these things to make our brain adapt or change to a new version of us or a new um, stage in our career or even how we feel think, feel, and act around giving, receiving, and making money. Do you know what I mean? So when we can start to understand all these brain hacks, my point to all this is for you today, you can start, do, or believe anything from where you are. If you're at the worst place in your life right now, but you have a clear direction or you want a clear direction or you, you've you worked on something in the past and you want to give it a go again, then you know no matter what, you can do that. You can do that, right? This is just showing it you can do that. Your brain wants to adapt, right? If you're at the best place in your life right now, but the stress is starting to like fry you, right? Then guess what? We have to now train your brain to expand it into the unknown, into the new. We have to give it new visuals, new context, new, new systems, new routine, new skills. So then it wants to expand and we're getting all of that energy, all of that focus, all of those brain chemicals pumping and then guess what we can expand very very fast how we got somewhere before doesn't mean it's the way we're going to get to the next stage it's that simple right if you're not calm calculated if your nervous system's not right if your brain isn't wired correctly right if you don't know how to control this interrupt patterns if you don't know how to add these superpower nlp skills onto your negotiation or communication with others or yourself if you don't know how to be a rock star a badass every single moment of the day in your performance the the truth you're just not going to get to where you think that you can, or you believe that you can, right? Just because we might have the an innate belief that you can jump to the moon. Hey, unless you're like the high level person who can transition through dimensions and atoms, probably, probably you're not jumping to that moon, right? But that's the same with everything. Just because you believe it doesn't mean the belief is real. It doesn't mean the belief is true. It becomes your reality. But that doesn't mean it is a reality that others can experience around you, right? Or you can experience even. Hopefully this all makes sense. But what I'm trying to say is this. You're a badass no matter where you are in your life. And this is just where you are. It's not who you are. If you want that next level, let's chat. <laughs> there you go. And speaking of chatting, time to jump onto the next one. Time to go for my cryo. And um, I will see you on the next show. But until then, much, much love. Keep kicking ass. And um, oh, yeah, one more thing. <laughs> Why don't you smile for me? Thanks so much for listening to today's episode of the Mindset by Design podcast with your host and NLP expert, Andy Murphy. We'll catch you next time.